Hi guys, uh, very very good evening to all of you. My name is Ajay Parmar and uh, people who have joined me uh, uh, recently, I welcome you on my channel uh, which has more than 800-900 videos as on date and uh, the videos are on all the data analytics important topics from Excel to Excel VBA, MS Access, Access VBA, Power BI, Power Pivot, DAX, Power Query, M Code, Web Scrapping, Google Spreadsheet. Everything you will find on this channel and these are the all the playlists I have created. So guys, I have started now recording the videos on English on the demand of my students who are basically emailing from Europe, from UK and from USA. So I will also now concentrate on the international audience. Okay, so today I have two things to discuss with you. You can go through all these playlists. If you have a playlist with Hindi name, as you can see, that's for Hindi. If you don't have a Hindi word in the playlist, so you just go and, you know, I mean, that's for the English viewers. So when you when you scroll down, you find here tons of the playlist. There are almost, I think, uh, more than 50 playlists I have created. Okay, so these like this one, Excel VBA function. This is on English. The, the, this is in English and this is in Hindi. So please go through all these different different playlist section. It's a big big channel. Okay. Now today I actually have a question. I'm going to answer this. This email was uh, sent to me uh, by Ankush. Okay. And uh, before we start uh, talking about the Ankush, uh, the question which which I have. Uh, this is his Excel file. I like to tell you that since you know, as you know, in India. Uh, we have the second wave and uh, uh, people are now actually working from home and uh, there are a lot of guys there are a lot of students who want to optimize this time uh, by you know getting them educated in the different different topics uh, so what I can do for you is what me and my marketing team has decided that we have started giving back this offer you remember that last year when the COVID when the corona came we started we we offered you these uh, the courses okay we offered you these uh, courses and especially these bumper offers uh, in 13000 you can get all the eight courses uh, and in 14000 rupees you can get all the 11 courses so you can see the list is in front of you you can pause the video you can check the fee you can check the duration the language so Again, this year also because COVID has come back and this time it, it, it is more, you know, disastrous. Uh, so we just in a kind of, you know, uh, uh, as a helping hand, what I can do, what me and my marketing team can do from our side, we are actually launching these, the prices once again. Okay, so you can get the biggest ever, you know, the discount on this channel, on these courses, especially in the bumper offers, you can see that it's hardly anything because you're going to get everything from basic to advanced. So before I take up the question of my subscriber, I just want to tell you one thing that, you know, these are the couple of the questions which I get from my students, how I'm going to get the videos. Well, you will get the videos from your, you know, you will get that on, at your Gmail ID. Okay, I'll send you the links once you make the payment. And are these YouTube videos? No, these are not YouTube videos. The YouTube videos are always free. These are my actually classroom live lectures and they are all in the recorded in the high definition. Uh, uh, you know, the video and the quality, it's it's high definition. So you will have a thoroughly, you will thoroughly enjoy the, uh, the sessions. Okay, as in like you are attending a live class. Okay, is it for lifetime access? Yes, this is for lifetime. You can watch it again and again anytime anytime any day does do you support if your doubt comes yes i always support through your whatsapp okay so chapters will be given to you and based on the chapter if any doubt you have you can just go and whatsapp me you can even call me you can even gmail me okay Courses are available in both the languages. Almost every course is available in both the languages. You can see here courses which are available only in one language right now. Of you need to make sure that before you go and make the payment, you are comfortable in that language. Okay. But 90% of the courses are available in both the languages. Okay. Is it an advanced level course? It's actually from basic to super advanced. Okay. Any course guys you pick from here, any course, 
except for this one where I have clearly mentioned it's a basic Excel. Any course you choose from 1 to 11, they are all basic to advanced. I have created chapters for these courses explaining you everything in a sequence and these are my classroom session videos. If you are interested in joining me live, of course, you can again go and WhatsApp me or call me on this number. If you are not in India, just prefix plus 91. Okay, plus 91 is the India code and then this is my number 9810375599. Just trying to do my bit for you so that in this time you can go and learn more and more you can bring the more positivity uh, because as you know that situation is really getting very bad especially in our country okay so you can utilize this time you can upgrade your skills and once this bad time is over i'm sure it will help you in finding the jobs very very easy okay all right any type of counseling you need you can WhatsApp me, you can call me, I'm always there. It's not about the course, you know. Otherwise, also, if you if you are uh, con if you are confused how to begin with, uh, whether to, you know, become a data analyst or data scientist, you can always get in touch with me. Okay, so now, guys, let's start our today's topic. Uh, this Ankush, uh, uh, this question, uh, which was sent by Ankush, actually, what he's uh, saying is that, uh, he's saying that he wants to see the sum of March to June. Uh, let me just delete this. This is what he wants to see. So basically, he has his student, student 1, and he has a March and the June. So if I change the month name over here, I should be able to get the, my answer accordingly. I mean, the total, the sum. So right now, we want the sum between March and June month. So this is what I need which is 233, right? So this is the requirement. I don't know if he is looking for student two, student three also, he hasn't mentioned that. So we will only focus on the student one and the same idea you can apply on the other students also, okay? So what I'm going to do is, of course, this is an advanced level video. This is not for basic people, uh, basic, you know, Excel users. Here we will go and use the indirect function with the address function, right? Indirect is one of the most powerful function in Excel, right? And the irony is that despite being the most powerful function, people are really not aware that this function actually is, you know, so much powerful and it can do a very, very tough task in Excel, okay? They are not aware about it, right? And people who know it, they think that, you know, it's difficult to understand. Well, this is not a video on the indirect. I'm just going to give the answer. So if you have an idea about the indirect, uh, you can just go and, you know, uh, watch this video. Otherwise, you can check my playlist indirect, Excel uh, indirect, okay? Long time back, I had uh, uploaded some videos on that playlist. So the first thing which I want to do is I want to actually check that where is my match. So guys, we will simply go and use the match function. Now match function, what it does, if I calculate, if I check the position of this header in this table, match returns the position, the column index of my that header. In this case, it is March. So you see that I've got a one, two, three, four. Same way you go and use what? Match again. You will find out now this value K1, which is June, and you will find the column number in this table. Okay. So this is how I write the match function. Now you see that once I have got the column index numbers, or you, in other words, you can say they are the positions, you know. The point is that now I want to build a formula in a manner that I can go and say that, you know, I'm looking for a range starting from fourth column and ending at the seventh column because you know g is seventh column for excel that's what you have to do okay so in the next step what you do since you have got the column number and the row you know it's two so we will use the address function by using the address function i can create a cell reference from which cell to which cell so you'll put the here row function like this this will return you the row number of your current cell which is j2 so the j2 row is two so row is going to be 2 and the comma is whatever in this case it is 4 right because that's the position of march so two two second row and the fourth column what do you want to get you'll get the d2 
that's the idea so again address function we will use so address function always uses the row and the column number and basis that it creates the cell address because we need the cell address here now you know that your range will start from d2 and stops at you know g2 okay and that's wonderful because this is what we need in case if i change let's say march to jan you see what will happen you see it starts now from b2 okay you have to make sure that you whatever you write here it should be actually uh, case sensitivity is not a matter in excel but spelling should be same now once you have created this range over here or anywhere you know what what we have to do we will simply go and join this with the colon because you know in the range we always uh, always use the colon okay i can do this in one function also that's not the problem but i'm just telling you step by step okay so once you have this range now what is the next thing now here we will go and bring the indirect function we will tell our indirect function look boy you have to go and pick the cell address from this n2 so indirect as its name suggests it's not a direct function it never it is never used for the direct relationship like for example i have put the n2 here so it is not going to give me the n2 value in return like generally it happens it actually goes in the n2 and whatever the cell address you have mentioned there it goes to that address it goes to that address so when you put the indirect n2 hey indirect i'm gonna take you in the n2 indirect jumps into the n2 and in the n2 indirect finds out oh, there is a range over there there is a single cell or multiple cells if there is a multiple cell we call it a range right in this case it's a range so then what happens internet immediately goes and returns the value from d2 and g2 okay now in this case you will get the error because internet will try to spill these values here i'm using office 365 okay so let me undo this first of all uh, maybe i can show you here for example like this remember this feature is not available in the previous excel versions and moreover you need not to worry about this because i'm not going to use this but i'm just telling you see what happens when i press enter that's what you need actually okay so now here if i simply say april you see what will happen you will have e22 g2 and in the e22 g2 this is what you needed it in isn't it so now leave this part this this was just for your explanation what we will do is we will sum everything whatever the internet will give us so we will say internet go in this cell and now instead of pressing the enter you will press Control shift enter so that this formula can work like an array because if you press enter it can be a problem i'm not sure okay let's go check uh, let's go and check that because this is office 365 i'm using well it has given me the answer that's wonderful so there's no worry i have only pressed enter in your case if this is not working this is giving you an error you might be using the excel older version like 2013 or 10 okay so what you do is you when you go and press enter instead of pressing the enter you press Control shift enter like this so the curly bracket would come okay because this is taking a lot of cells into one cell and we need to then go and sum all those different different cells into single cell so that's possible using the array using the array so i've used this Control shift enter if you're using an office 365 I think uh, you just go and press enter and that's uh, that will give you the sum so now i have here e22 g2 so e22 g2 is giving me 158 and as you can see that here that i've got the answer okay you can do all this calculation maybe somewhere else in case if you don't want to show this to the user but the point is we have got the answer so if i put that feb you see that from feb to june it's 277 so feb to june it's 277 so i'm getting my answer here okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to quickly remove the equals to sign so that you guys can just pause the video and you can have a look that how basically you know everything is set up here okay so you can see now these are all the formulas we have applied and now you can go and use it customize it the way you want but finally i try to give you the answer all right so thank you so much and have a fantastic learning keep yourself positive in this lockdown time and try to learn as much as you can for your better career for your better future i'll see you then this is ajay Prama signing off i'll very soon upload a new video on a new topic in case if you have any questions anything bothering you you can leave your comment uh, your question on the comment section i'll do my best to answer you thank you bye bye